Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys all the melody sauce you need to make fire melodies every time. And basically I'm just going to talk about layering, you know, how to layer melodies to get that perfect blend, to get that nice sound. Because, you know, if you're going to be making a whole beat, you want your melody to kind of stay interesting, you know, not repeat over and over and have some cool things that come in here and there. And, you know, before we start, as always, go tap in with me on social media. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Enviral. But let's get it. Alright, so I feel like all the fire melodies you can break down to like three layers. And the first one of that is going to be the main melody layer. So for that, I have like this uh, plugin called Hybrid open. And let's try to find like a cool, maybe like a mallet or something. I feel like making something kind of wavy. For your first uh, layer, usually it's going to be like some sort of chords or something. Alright, so now let's just, you know, put down some really simple chords. The key is simplicity, you know, it's more about adding different layers than making one layer too complicated. I think that's a cool like second half of the progression it's like subtle differences you know i think maybe i want this to go up to carry that energy more up in the second half That's already hella fire, like it's literally just chords. So I basically play a chord progression and then go in and change some notes. So over here, I want this this one to go down because like it leads back down to here. So, so pay attention to shapes. A melody should have a really good shape. Like it should it should follow like a line. Alright, so that's the first layer and most important layer because it defines the feel of the beat but also like kind of what chords you're using the key and all the melodies that are going to come after so yeah i'm not going to add anything else to it i think it's perfect just like that all right so for the next layer i'm going to go into triton and i'm looking for like some sort of kind of more smooth uh atmospheric type of thing because the chords are really kind of choppy All right, something like that, I think. I'm gonna quantize that and fix some of those notes. I'm just playing like intervals of the chords, so just. So instead of just playing the regular chord like this, I'm just moving like one of the notes like up an octave, like I'm moving the top note up an octave and then removing the bottom note and then you get this. If you wanna know how to make melodies like this, I actually dropped a video on this uh, a while back, so I'll link it right now if you guys wanna check it out. And also I can make way more melody videos in the future. Just let me know in the comments if you guys want that. I think this is a cool pattern but i'm gonna maybe try to change the instrument and i do this a lot of times you know just make sure you pick a sound that you kind of like and put the pattern down and you, know, you can always change the instrument later but you, you can't get that idea that you have back so don't focus too much on the instruments right away uh, all right so i actually went ahead and switched to this pad from expand for the second sound All right, so that's the foundation of the whole beat pretty much like that literally that could be the whole beat next we're probably going to add like two layers of ear candy and that's basically things that are kind of in the background and like super subtle you know, usually people don't notice it the first time they listen to something you want to have layers that people can discover like later after they heard the song for like a hundred times for the first layer of ear candy this one's going to be more obvious it's going to be more in the more present so for that i want to pick like maybe a mallet All 
right, so the cool part about this pattern that I like is I played it, a lot of it on like a upbeat. That's a really nice like syncopation. <laughs> Alright, so now for the second layer of ear candy, I'm gonna mute all these layers and then uh, just add something because you know I'm gonna use all these melodies at different spots, so I don't want it to be kind of distracting when I'm playing on top of the main melody. Alright, so this is my last layer of ear candy and right now it sounds like two in the center which is fine because we're gonna put hella effects on it to make it like sauce dub you know in the background And then on the trumpet, I'm gonna put a lot of re a lot of delay. All right, so now we're gonna split all the channels and I'll just show you guys how I would arrange this when I'm making the beat. So, so I'd probably have the pluck and the art playing for the intro and then, and then for the hook have the pluck and the mallet and for the verse have like the pluck and maybe like the arp like this. And then for the middle part, uh, bring in the trumpet and then, you know, bring in the arp again. So this is pretty much the arrangement that I would do. All right, and then for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna cook up and try to finish the beat. So I'm just gonna go into my drum kit over here and pick some sounds real quick. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll play you guys the final beat in a second. But you know, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys learned how to improve your melodies, then please leave a like and comment below what you thought of it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.